Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It is your Motivation Monday. I'm Pastor Nate, and I'm excited to bring a word of encouragement to you today. The past few times, past few weeks we've been doing this, we, uh, I had a passage of scripture, but today I want to talk about that in and of itself, the scripture. I've been doing this study the last uh, few days in 1 Samuel, and something that God really spoke to me about that I want to encourage and challenge you guys on is, is the word of God. We have the Bible, it's so easily accessible. And when I'm reading in this, this passage in uh, 1 Samuel, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the, the prophet. He, he is the one that hears from God and then shares to the people what God is saying, what direction God wants them to go. So that was, that was the, the trend that they had to do. They had to wait for the prophet to hear from God and then speak. And then I started thinking about the New Testament Christians who only had the Old Testament and were living the New Testament church. And, and, and they suffered. We, we all know that there was so much suffering, especially in the early years. There was martyrs. Stephen was the first martyr. And it got me to this point, to this, this end thought that I really wanted to bring to you guys today is, first off, it's amazing how accessible the Bible is to us. You can download an app on your phone. You can go to websites. You can go to nearly any bookstore. You can order it online. It gets sent to you. You have it in your hand at all times. And that's such a wonderful thing. It's so amazing. But what God spoke to me was, the things that don't cost us something, the things that we don't sacrifice for, we tend to lose the value of. Not always intentionally. We don't always intentionally just discard it. But when it didn't cost us something, we tend to lose the value of it. And I felt like God was saying to me so clearly, I want you to fall in love with my word. Because the word of God is living and breathing. It is active, it is applicable, it is relevant to us today. And I was really challenged on, on my love for the word of God. I don't want it to be a checklist thing that I do. I read my Bible today. It's not that. I want to fall in love with the Word because falling in love with the Word is falling in love with Jesus. And I wanted to help you guys change this mindset because I needed to change the mindset too. We need to change our mindsets because this book, the, the Bible, the Word of God, through thousands of years, people have suffered, people have died, people have been beaten, people have been cursed, spoken down to also that we can be in this moment and have access to the Word of God. We have access to the Word of God. God speaking to us through the scriptures. And it is an amazing, amazing thing in our walks as Christians that we have the Word of God and that we have access to hear from the Creator of the universe, the Savior of the world, the Holy Spirit living and breathing and working in us. So I just want to encourage you and challenge you today. Ask yourself this question. Is there any way that I have been taking advantage of the Word of God? Putting less value on the Word of God? And like I said earlier, it's not always intentional. Rarely is it intentional as Christians. But are we truly valuing it? Am I truly valuing the Word of God? And not seeing it as this old document, but as something living and breathing applicable and relevant to today. I hope you're encouraged. I hope you take some time to think through this, to ask God to speak to you and to dive into the Word of God because I'm telling you it is life and it is life abundantly. I hope you guys are inspired. We'll see you next week.